Speaker, I rise today in strong support of the Senate amendment to H.R. 2719, the Transportation Security Acquisition Reform Act, a bill that I introduced in July of last year, which passed the House unanimously one year ago. This common sense bipartisan legislation is the culmination of two years of collaborative efforts by my colleagues in the House and Senate and four years of strong oversight by the Transportation Security Subcommittee. H.R. 2719 will save significant tax dollars by forcing TSA to make thoughtful, informed decisions about what kinds of technology to deploy in our nation's airports. We simply cannot afford to see TSA repeat the mistakes of the past, which have resulted in technology such as puffer machines and body scanners being pulled out of airports prematurely and others sitting idly in warehouses never to see the light of day. H.R. 2719 requires TSA to develop and share with industry and the public a detailed five-year technology investment plan. The bill gives Congress early warning about any cost overruns, delays, or technical failures encountered by TSA. It ensures that TSA is implementing acquisition. Ben. Please take their conversations off the floor. Members to the right of the speaker. Please take your conversations off the floor. The gentleman deserves to be heard. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, this bill ensures that TSA is implementing acquisition best practices as identified by the Government Accounting Office and other experts. It also mandates a better process for managing security equipment in TSA's inventory. Finally, the Senate strengthened the bill by, among other things, requiring more consultation with experts in the public and private sectors during the acquisition process. I'd like to thank the Chairman of the Committee on Homeland Security, Mr. McCall, for his assistance in moving this bill through the Committee and the House, as well as the Ranking Member, Mr. Thompson, uh, uh, Ranking Member of the full Committee, for your work alongside uh, myself and our Chairman. Uh, Mr. Thompson's work made this a better bill. Uh, he and, and ranking member for our subcommittee, Mr. Richmond, um, I really appreciate the, the, the uh, cooperation with which they gave us. And again, their work made this a better bill. I'd also like to thank Senator Ayotte for introducing a companion bill in the Senate and leading the effort to see it through the Senate Commerce Committee and the full Senate. I'd also like to thank Senators Rockefeller, Thune, and Tester and their staffs for their strong support and for important efforts to move this bill. Finally, I'd like to thank the 18 industry groups that have endorsed this bill, including the Security Manufacturers Coalition, Airlines for America, Airports Council International North America, the American Association of Airport Executives, the General Aviation Manufacturer Association, the Security Industry Association, the U.S. Travel Association, and many others who provided valuable feedback and worked with us throughout this process. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to have a letter of support from these stakeholders included in the record. Without objection, so ordered. This no-cost bipartisan legislation will go a long way toward improving transparency and accountability at TSA. I urge my colleagues to support this bill, and I reserve the balance of my time.